How are you guys doing? I hope that you guys are having a great Sunday afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you are. Um, just thinking about some things, some things that the Most High, you know, the Most High speaks to me a lot. Um, he speaks to me a lot through his word. He speaks to me a lot through, um, through just revelation about current events. Or he might be giving me lessons about stuff I've gone through in my past. But I love the fact that the Most High chooses to speak and teach me things. Um, and I want to share them with you. Not out of an air of superiority or that I know better, I'm no more than you, but out of a, a, a spirit and Ruach that I really want you to understand some things that I don't believe a lot of people understand, okay? Um, <clears throat> I was listening to this preacher today that um, I do respect. He has taught me some things um, about the prophetic and the apostolic and what have you. And I do believe that he hears from the Most High. I believe that about him, okay? Um, I won't mention any names because... You know, there's a but. <laughs> there is a but in here somewhere. And so um, he was teaching and preaching today. And during one of his session, one of his preaching sermons or whatever, or sessions in the past, he has mentioned that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, that the Most High has used him to minister to people at the United Nations. Um, that piqued my interest because um, I at one point did reach out to the UN when I didn't know any better. Stay tuned. When I didn't know any better and I thought that they really do care about the well-being of people in this world. And they <clears throat> I reached out to them about addressing certain human rights violations that um, I had went through and that I had noticed others in this area had been going through. Um, that's when I was politically active, if you will, actively involved in activism and trying to make things better in this world. Cause I, that's what we're all here for, right? But anyway, so, um, and the only reason why I thought about his testimony about how the Most High used him to minister to someone at the UN is because the tone of the message that he was preaching and teaching today, it touched on politics and it touched on the role of the church in politics. And so, um, to make a very long story short, when I thought about his opportunity to minister to someone at the UN, I also thought about another preacher, um, evangelist, Lee Stone King is his name. I will mention his name. He is in his 80s. He is out of the United Pentecostal Church. He is a very powerful, very highly anointed man of the Most High Yah. Um, one that I have always highly respected and admire because of his powerful, powerful testimony and life. Lee Stone King. His name is spelled like it sounds. Stone King is one word. Um, look him up. He's powerful. Um, Lee Stone King has also preached about how the Most High has used him to minister to people at the UN. Um, I've heard a couple of other preachers one other preacher in particular talk about being used to minister to people at the UN. So <clears throat> needless to say, there is a harvest, if you will, at the United Nations. There are people within the United Nations who are hungry for the most high. There are people at the UN who does, I believe, that they do want 
to hear what the Most High is saying and that they want to do what the Most High is wanting them to do. However, however, I also am keenly aware of the the foundation, if you will, of the UN. Um, I am keenly aware of who empowers, enables, funds, and pushes the UN. And based upon that, whereas there may be one or two souls within the United Nations that will be ministered to, I don't believe that the United Nations as a whole is going to change their stance on a lot of different things that matter to us as African Americans, those of us with African blood running through our veins, to be more precise. And so I say all that to say that a lot of times the Most High, uh, there are souls that the Most High is wanting to reach and minister to in every arena, in every facet of society, entertainment, um, the most high have souls everywhere. Okay. There's also souls on the police force. Okay. Everybody on the police force is not evil and wicked and demonic. There are some saved folks on the police force. I've met some of them. As hard as I, I used to be and kind of still am, I've met some safe, sure enough safe folk on the police force. Folks full of the Holy Ghost, full of the Ruach HaKadosh, those who love the Most High, and they are placed there strategically by the Most High to take care of the souls that he has slated for the kingdom, if you will. And so I also understand that there are souls, hungry souls within every entity and organization and systems of government and on the police force. Um, I do realize that not all of them, but some of them are saved. Some of them powerful. But please, please. Please, 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 please don't get it twisted, church. Just because the Most High has souls in every facet and arena, in the government, on the police force, in this system and that system, does not mean that he wants you to change the system. If you read your word, read the example of the word, the Most High didn't ever change the system. He worked through the people within the system. And once the system became co- so corrupt that he could no longer do his bidding and his work and his will within that system, he told the people, come out. He said, come out from among them and be separate, saith Yah. Touch not the unclean thing. He said, shake the dust off your feet. There comes a time, church, that it will be it, that you have to walk away and separate yourself from that which refused to be holy. That which refused to repent. Any system that refuses to repent, that refuses to change its ways, its wicked ways. You have to shake the dust off your feet and keep it moving. Even though the Most High may have opened up the door, cracked the door open, hmm. To minister to a soul here or a soul there. Hollywood, Holly Weird, Nolly Weird is another one. There may be some souls in there that the Most High wants to minister to. But you're not called to change the system. 
You just there to, 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 to get the souls that's out of there, out of there. The souls that belong to him. He says, souls, all souls are mine. But if there are some people who want the most high, then yes, minister to their needs. Give them the most high. But if there are people who don't want him for whatever reason, there are some people who refuse to repent. Shake the dust off of your feet. And, you know, shaking the dust off your feet is a form of of judgment. Some people say, oh, you're trying to curse people. No, 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 no. We don't curse anybody. People's disobedience and rebellion curses themselves. Whole entire governments and cities and regions lay waste today, are no longer in existence today because their leaders, their leaders refuse to repent. Their leaders refuse to do what thus saith the Most High Yah. And when you have that spirit in leadership that refuses to repent, there is nothing you can do but pray for the people. Pray. Because judgment, when a leader refuses to repent or a a leader does not see the need to repent, even though the need has been laid out perfectly for them to see, they still, I don't see it. So I ain't repenting. There's nothing you can do for that leader. And those people, you just keep them covered. And pray that the, the Ruach Kakadesh, when he does sweep through that city, when he does sweep through that region, when he does sweep through that department, that government agency, when he does sweep through the land, pray that the judgment of the Most High will pass over. Pass over you. When I see the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach, I will pass over you. I pray that the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach cover his people, cover his children and his grandchildren, cover people who have said yes, cover all of their dwellings, all the places they go and are. I pray that the angel of the most high and can't run about us and you and deliver from the snare of the father and from the noisome pestilence. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. I said it a few weeks ago and I still mean it. No nuclear weapon, no weapon of mass destruction, No spiritual or religious weapon, no governmental or political weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us, we shall refute. This is the heritage of the servants of the Most High, Yah. And our righteousness comes from Him. So you be blessed. And rest in that knowledge. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach.